In the last video, I covered the tail angle and tail radius of a skateboard. Much of what was mentioned in that video applies to the nose as well, so instead of repeating a bunch of information here, I'll skip to the different considerations that apply to kick noses. First, a steeper nose can help you pop ollies higher by providing a more pronounced edge for your front foot to pull the board up with. Second, you may want to have your nose defined exactly the same as the tail or have it different. If it's the same, your board is symmetrical, and if not, it is asymmetrical. A nice thing about asymmetry is that you can get the benefits of two different geometries without needing two different boards. For example, one trick may work better with a steeper kick, while another works better with a mellower kick. If your board has no kick nose, it's called a single kick, and to make a single kick in SkateCAD, you can simply set the nose angle to zero. On the other hand, a symmetrical board can be nice because you can ride it both ways equally, helping your board wear down a little slower and last a little longer. Here's a quick recommendation if you are not sure where to begin. If you want to do ollies, a nose angle of around 20 degrees with a nose radius of around 4 inches will provide a nice geometry to pop up your board. Otherwise, try any nose angle and radius that looks good to you and gets you excited to ride. To get a better idea of how nose angle and nose radius affect the shape of your board, check out SkateCAD at skatecad.com.